This story about Peppa is for Claire and for Teddy and for Audrey. And the first story we're going to do is The Tooth Fairy. Once upon a time, there was a clever little pig named Peppa. She was very proud of her teeth. Grunt, grunt. Peppa and her brother George knew how to take care of their teeth. They brushed them every day and every evening. Brush, brush. Peppa and George loved playing dentist. Peppa would pretend to be the dentist and George would be her assistant. George's toy dinosaur was the patient. What lovely clean teeth you have, Mr. Dinosaur, Peppa smiled. Grrr, said George. One day, after playing their dentist game, Peppa and George were eating their dinner. Suddenly, something fell onto Peppa's plate. Clatter, clatter. It made Peppa jump. What's that? she asked. Ha ha, it's a tooth, Daddy Pig laughed. But where is it from? asked Peppa. Why don't you look in the mirror? said Mommy Pig. Peppa looked. She had a big gap in her teeth. Oh no, cried Peppa. Do we need to go to see Dr. Elephant? Ho, ho, ho. No, said Mommy Pig. It's just a baby tooth. It's meant to fall out. And there's Peppa with a gap in her tooth. A baby tooth? What's that? asked Peppa. A baby tooth is a tooth that falls out when you're young, exclaimed Mommy Pig. A new one will grow in its place. What should I do with my baby tooth? asked Peppa. If you place it under your pillow, the tooth fairy will come. She will take your tooth and leave you a shiny new coin, said Mommy Pig. That evening, while Peppa watched television with her family, she kept thinking about the Tooth Fairy. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy, said Peppa. Daddy Pig chuckled. What about you, George? asked Daddy. George pointed at his dino dinosaur. Dinosaur, he growled. Hee hee hee. Come on, George, shouted Peppa. We don't want to miss the Tooth Fairy. They both ran up the stairs to get ready for bed. What are you doing, Peppa? asked Daddy Pig. Peppa was carefully brushing her baby tooth. I want it to be nice and clean for the Tooth Fairy, said Peppa. Snort, snort. Peppa tucked the tooth under her pillow. Are you sure the Tooth Fairy will be able to find it, she asked. I promise, said Mommy Pig. Just you wait and see. Good night, Peppa and George. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. Hee hee hee. I'm going to wait up all night for the Tooth Fairy, Peppa said. George, let's not go to sleep. George smiled and nodded. Peppa waited and waited. Snore, snore. She could hear something. Is that the Tooth Fairy, Peppa wondered. George, she whispered. Did you hear that? Can you see the Tooth Fairy? She climbed down to look at George. He was fast asleep. It was him making the noise. I am much better staying awake than George, Peppa sighed. She settled back in, in her bed. After a while, her eyes started to close. She quickly opened them again. I am going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy, Peppa said to herself firmly. Snore, snore. But she, soon she was fast asleep. Tinkle, tinkle. What was that? It was the Tooth Fairy. Hello, Peppa, she whispered. Would you like a coin in exchange for your tooth? The Tooth Fairy gently took Peppa's tooth out from under the pillow and put a shiny coin in its place. What a lovely clean tooth, the Fairy said. Thank you very much. Flutter, flutter, flutter. The next morning, Peppa found the shiny coin under her pillow. Mommy, the Tooth Fairy did come after all, she shouted, jumping up and down. Oh, I wish I had seen the Tooth Fairy, Peppa sighed. 
Next time, I'm definitely going to stay awake all night. Snort. Hee <laughs> hee. The end. Still going.